It's taken three years of painstaking, tender loving care, but for Jonathan Fielding, today was well worth the wait. Hurtling across Falmouth Bay, she's a 1970s powerboat that packs a serious punch. In the days of these designs, uh, they were really state-of-the-art design. Aluminium hulls, very lightweight, very fast, the latest propulsion systems. Um, and again, this is, this is almost like the rebirth of Pirate because putting these new diesel engines in these common rail diesel Cummins engines uh, of today um, really brings her back up to, uh, up to speed for want of a better word. Pirate was originally a contender in the 1972 round Britain race. Only two of these boats were ever made. 40 years on and she still means business, passing her sea trials with flying colours. Stuart Redmond's been working on installing Pirate's engines for months. Today's news means he can finally breathe a big sigh of relief. At the moment I'm very pleased with the results. The speed is just uh, uh, very good on this one. Um, I can't believe it, really how fast it really goes for a nice old boat. It's been uh, quite a labour of love, yes, and it's been uh, quite tight to get round the spaces in, in, this, in this particular instance. Uh, particularly on one of the sides there, it's very difficult to get down the side, but I can manage to get down there and crawl back out. But um, after three years of putting it all together, it's eventually come to this particular spot now. Reaching speeds of up to 40 knots, the aim is to be able to take Pirate to the Sillies for a spot of lunch and then be back here in time for dinner. Francesca Carpenter, ITV News, Falmouth.